Well, hey, how y'all doing out there today? Well, here I am. Uh, I was about to have me some lunch on the Appalachian Trail, and I thought I'd share it with y'all. And uh, I wanted to point out a new little plant today. Um, this is the Georgia wood soil right here. It looks like a clover, don't it? And normally it's got a little yellow flower on it. But this wood soil, y'all, uh, it's growing right in here. It is actually uh, historically used to treat uh, scurvy because it has such a high vitamin C content. Uh, it is great for fever reducer. Y'all, this is one of the best fever reducers out there. And I know it's kept from us, but wow, I just have to put that out there. It also quenches thirst like you wouldn't believe. And you get on this trail, and even with the nice canopy and the sun getting on you, or if you're out on the side of the road and you're walking because you have nowhere to go or you're just out walking and you're thirsty, you can actually eat this beautiful wood soil. It's like a sour grass. And uh, and actually, that's why I want it, because I'm about to make a wrap. I was just going to have me a tuna wrap, and I was walking up and down the trail a little bit uh, to find my normal stuff to put in there. And I saw this wood soil, and I thought, man, it's like putting... Um, like like sour pickles in your um in your in your tuna fish you know so i was like wow that would be tasty so i'm going to go ahead and pick some and uh and i'm going to add something to it but once again y'all i really want you to look at the history and the medicinal uses of wood sorrel i'm using it for flavor and for vitamin c and uh and just because it's such a tasty little plant i mean i really do love it um but i'm going to mix it up a little bit because i also need other things and i can't find my plantain i'm looking around i mean it's beautiful out here but man the foliage is deep um so i didn't have much else to pick from so here's what we'll do i'm gonna come down here i did find me a a sweet little young sassafras tree right here and um so i'm gonna get me a couple fresh leaves and i like the greener looking ones oh look at that little tender those two and oh you you little buddy you're coming with me <laughs> and uh we got some sassafras leaves and we already know about the sassafras now that's the, I'm, i want this every day this sweats back through my body and it keeps me from itching like the plantain it keeps bugs off of me all right i have no bug spray and except for a few bumps and bruises right there <laughs> I have no bug bites. I have not been getting bug bug bit, and I have hikers thanking me for just eating a little bit, a couple of leaves a day, and the plantain as well. But let's pick some wood soil, and I just pull it off the stems. Thank you, mother, for this great this great benefit in my life and this good food. And I always thank the mother for something when I get something, and I hope y'all do too. So now we'll come down here to my little redneck studio. <laughs> let's pick y'all up. And uh, see what we got here. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them right there on the side. I'd already bought my wrap, so y'all know I like my wraps. And since I'm on Appalachian Trail, I am going to use that to um, do my wrap in. So here's my wrap. And I'm going to go ahead and add some tuna. Now, you already know the tuna's got all these calories I want. Protein, B12, B6, niacin, all those good things that I want out of my my for me and uh that are in the tuna fish and that was going to be my wrap right there today mm -hmm. but now we're going to add this wood soil right on here and this is my flavor so i want it going all up and down my wrap and i do leave the stems y'all they're chewy they're not they won't choke you or get stuck in your throat all this is very chewable and very edible and it looks like it's some good luck <laughs> Now, like I said, here's my my little bit of, um, mm, I love sassafras, y'all. I just love sassafras. I can't tell you enough how much I love this sassafras leaf. But I'm going to put them in there. because This is for my B12 um, and my bug prevention because I'm out here in the woolly bugger woods, y'all. These bugs out here. Um, let me get my wrap up. All right, here we go. And by the way, that trash will be off this trail, and I've got to be telling me some hikers, if you pack it in, you pack it out. But anyway, nice little wrap, right? Broke right in. Wood soil. And now the sassafras. Like a sweet and sour mix from the mother, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry to get so excited, but I ain't never made one like this before with just these two ingredients. And I'm amazed. 
I just got B, high B12, vitamin C. My thirst is quenched. I don't have to, if I had a fever, I could eat this. If I had a urinary tract infection, um, urinary problems, um, many people get. Wood soil is a cure for that. Look into that. Urine, people with urinary tract problems. It was used for scurvy. Oh, so many, hold on a minute. <laughs> This is my best wrap yet. That mix is amazing, y'all. Mm, that mix is extremely amazing. It went down good. I have no... I don't have any thirst. Wow, I was just fixing to wash it down with some of this clean mountain water. But I can actually feel my mouth salivating a little bit. Making it moist and wet. Wow. That's amazing. I'm learning with y'all on this one because I'm telling you the sassafras and wood soil mix is amazing, y'all. That was very good. I'm going to finish it, and I hope that you learned something today. Both of these are all around you, as with many, many other things. They are healthy. They're preventive medicine from the mother. Get it? And it's good tasting. Y'all, this is the best wrap I ever had. I've got to shut up so I can finish eating it. I'm going to make two of these. And uh, I hope y'all make one and try it out. But if you, even if you're just walking by it. And listen, the good thing about wood soil. Let's get back over here by it. The good thing about this wood soil, y'all, is it don't have any poisonous lookalikes. There are no poisonous clovers and uh, types of clover. And this is uh, the only way you can know it from other clovers. Uh, there's some little ones. Is by the sour taste. Uh, wow. Wow, but you know, red clover and white clover are the best antibiotics in the world. The Europeans brought that over. So you can't go wrong with clover leaf looking plants. Let's just put it that way. But for a great wrap and um, some taste for something and a little sweet and sour taste, throw you some sassafras leaves in there. Man! <laughs> I love the Mother Earth. She is so good to me. And she's good to y'all. She provides everything. Everything we need is right in there, y'all. And the only place you need to put that knowledge is right in there. And you take that good eating and you put it right in that belly. Get in my belly because that's what this is fitting to do. I love y'all. Be well. Eat well. And don't live in fear. Peace.